when I came out of graduate school, not knowing what I wanted to be when I grew up, I thought I wanted to be an educator, but I wasn't sure. So after going in the military and coming back home, I signed a teaching contract as an instructor at DePaul. I went through a 12-month graduate program. I then joined the full-time faculty, and I taught full-time for five or six years in the Graduate School of Business. After that, I decided that I really wanted to go into management consulting, so I dropped rank to part-time instructor and have been on the adjunct faculty ever since in the School of Business, the School for Public Service, the old rehab administration program, and now for the School for New Learning. I continued my love affair with DePaul by going on to the Board of Trustees in 2001, which was kind of the capstone of my career with DePaul. During that entire 40-year relationship with the university, what occurred to me is I didn't know anything about the guy whose name was on the front door, namely St. Vincent to Paul. And I don't think I was alone in experiencing that. I went through a graduate program. I've taught here for 40 years and now as a board member, never having fully appreciated who St. Vincent to Paul was, his life, his times, his experience, his works, etc. It wasn't until I decided to give back something to the university some years ago in a personal conversation with you, Patrick Murphy, about what can I do, that we hit upon the St. Vincent de Paul Leadership Project and this desire to study him, to codify his works so that we could apply this to our administrators, our faculty, our deans, our trustees, etc. So with that in mind, I then had the fortunate experience of going to Paris on a board retreat shortly after this discussion and to actually follow in the footsteps of St. Vincent de Paul. Uh, it was a very moving, meaningful experience to visit the Mother House, to visit churches where he preached at Fauville and other places. And I began to learn more about this guy in terms of his life and his history and how he got into the priesthood and how he decided eventually to start working with the poor. So I decided right then and there that I was doing the right thing by funding the St. Vincent de Paul Leadership Project so that no one would ever experience again what I experienced and that is leaving the halls of DePaul University without a firm footing and grounding in who St. Vincent DePaul is, what the Vincentian values and mission are, and what we stand for and believe in. Because I left here without a clue, and I'm vowing that that should never happen again.